Short leg application. For indications where a mobilization of the ankle joint is required, follow physician's instructions on the proper positioning of the limb. A common position is with the ankle flexed to 90 degrees and the foot neutral with regards to inversion and aversion. Select a stockinette that will not be restrictive at the widest part of the limb. Make sure you use enough stockinette to allow fold backs at distal and proximal ends. Roll up the stockinette before applying to the limb to lessen pressure while applying. Roll on and remove all wrinkles and creases. A small cut may be needed at the anterior ankle to prevent the stockinette from creasing. Apply 3-inch or 4-inch padding starting at the metatarsals, going around twice, and working toward the ankle. Be sure to apply three layers or more to pad medial and lateral malleolus. Then work toward the ankle with a 50% overlap and stop below fibular head. Applying with slight tension will allow the padding to lie down smoothly and have a snug fit. Additional padding may be required for bony prominences. Begin by putting on protective gloves before applying the cast tape. Dip 3-inch or 4-inch cast tape in water, squeezing 1 to 3 times. Remove from water and squeeze one time to remove excess water. Start wrapping cast tape at the metatarsals twice, working toward the ankle with 70% overlap. Go around the ankle to lock in the talus. Continue with 50% overlap toward the knee. Be sure to keep the cast tape below the fibular head as pressure on the fibular head could cause neurological complications. Take a second roll of the same size cast tape and dip it in water, squeezing one to three times. Remove from water and squeeze one time to remove excess water. Start wrapping the cast at the metatarsals twice and work toward the ankle with 70% overlap. Go around the ankle and lock in the talus. Be sure to have sufficient layers of cast tape in the heel area. Fold back the stockinette at distal and proximal ends for protection of the skin and creating a soft end. Now, take a third roll of the cast tape. As you did before, Dip the cast tape in water, squeezing one to three times, remove from water, and squeeze one time to remove excess water. Start wrapping the cast at the metatarsals twice and work toward the ankle with 70% overlap. Go around the ankle and work toward the knee with 50% overlap. Be sure to stay below the fibular head and leave approximately one half inch of stockinette exposed to leave a soft end. Mold the cast with the palms of your hands. Check for any limitations in range of motion. Check for any pressure points that may cause irritation. Fit a cast shoe and give full instructions to the patient. And you are finished.